A very chilly weather on the way. Today's been holding in the 50s so far, which is pretty mild, especially yeah. first thing this morning for uh, Thanksgiving week. Let's take a look at the conditions outside East Providence. You've got the cloudy conditions, 52 degrees, wind still mostly westward, about 10 miles per hour, sustained with some higher gusts. So uh, travel conditions improving here as we head into the second half of your day and looking ahead to Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thanksgiving on Thursday, all looking fine and no major impacts expected. Even on Friday, though, we do have some showers in the forecast, so at least some minor impacts possible there. The showers that have been been moving through this in the first half of the day, moving offshore today, all tracking eastward with a cold front, in fact, a pair of cold fronts, more significant one moving towards the east coast right now. You can see those rain showers still across the Carolinas and Virginia. Florida as well. Those will all be moving out and high pressure will be building in other than some lake effect snow across the Great Lakes. Got a lot of real estate here across the country that is storm free. Just good news looking ahead. Let's take a look at this afternoon because you can see the cool air lurking just to the west of us. Temperatures 30s and 40s now into northern and parts of western New England. So some cooler air is going to be coming. Right now we're still between about 50 and 55 for most of the area. 54 New Bedford, 52 in westerly. And for this afternoon we'll hold on to mostly cloud cloudy skies, temperatures by 4 o'clock dropping into the 40s, then by 6 o'clock in the evening around 45 degrees. Late tonight, down to 31 degrees. It'll be a much colder night than where we had last night. We were close to 60 degrees in the pre-dawn hours this morning. Tomorrow morning, closer to the upper 20s to lower 30s. This is 7 a.m. tomorrow afternoon. Sunshine, but an unseasonably chilly day. Upper 30s to lower 40s, likely the coldest we've seen so far this season. We've got a factor in the gusty winds out of the northwest tomorrow that'll keep wind chills near and below freezing for a good chunk of the day. May in the afternoon see them climb into the middle 30s, but you get the picture. It's going to feel like winter. Let's talk about the weather across the nation for tomorrow afternoon. Other than again, some lake effect snow, we're going to be fairly quiet on the east coast and out through the Midwest. We do have some rain showers in the Pacific Northwest and some mountain snow as you get into the higher elevations there. That system will continue to work its way eastward, so the Rockies on a busy travel day on Wednesday could be seeing some snow showers including in the Denver area. That front will be pushing through the Midwest on Thanksgiving with rain showers for most, some snow uh, to the north and west of it. And that whole front system will push east to New England on Friday. So scattered rain showers in the morning may mix with or briefly change to snow showers around here later Friday afternoon and evening up across northern New England. Wouldn't be out of the question for some ski country. Maybe end up with a couple of inches of, uh, of some wet snow. Looking at 54 degrees for this afternoon, tomorrow, lower 40s. It's a chilly day, but a sunny and dry one. How about some details on Thanksgiving Thursday? Just in time for the holiday, get outside, take a walk after your meal. We've got temperatures in the middle 50s, dry conditions, a really pleasant day. Back to some chilly air for the end of the week, Friday and into the weekend.